So exploratory nonsense. It must be like really, it must be really out there. Like this, it seems like there's almost like something to do with this and it's probably not as simple as just like, but whoa. The bomb went through it. Whoa. Yeah, there's probably... All hey, well, look, a seed. So I'd have to go find all the seeds and then find all the pots I didn't plant them in and potentially more than that after that to do it. I need the... I need... I need the... What's it called? What was the... Game Pro Magazine or something? I don't remember. Kind of sad you missed it. It'll be it'll be on YouTube, Teddy, if that helps you. IGN has a has a guide. It's intense though, huh? Alright, I gotta pee. Gotta get some water. You did pay to the end, right? Lord dropped a key in the Reaper world, which is essential for the true ending. In the Reaper world. I saw something dropped here, yes. Found a rusty bell tower key. I remember the door. Is it up here, maybe? Some of you tried Raid Shadow Legends after seeing the ads. No shame in saying yes. I have not. I don't know anyone personally who has played Raid Shadow Legends, I don't think. I'm pretty sure. Um, I will say there's been moments where it's just like, maybe, like, I'll be, usually it's like I'm alone in the car waiting for something, like at Grandpa's vet appointments. It's just like, maybe I'll try our mobile game. Maybe I'll try Raid Shadow Legends finally. But I never end up actually doing it. It feels like at this point, if I'm going to try Raid of Shadow Legends, I might as well get some streamer's code or whatever to help support them. What the fuck? What the? It's nighttime now, yeah. Is this like a link to the past? What are you? Are you a bad guy? What the f? I hope this did, it's not like a whole new world. I wonder what purpose this serves though. Other than very specific ones. I hope it... That's, like, eerie. Dude. <laughs> A bit strong. Okay, that's creepy. <laughs> I'd say... Should we go wake him up? Shining, shimmering, splendid. Evening Reaper. Dude, are you just laying in there awake? Waiting? I don't really sleep anymore. I lie here each night wondering how it would feel to no longer be living. If we were dead, would we even know? Well, for fuck's sake. They just follow me. Should I gather them? What if I bring it to, like, this statue? Oh! <gasps> One. Okay. Okay. Alright, here's another one. Oh, look! Oh, look! Look at the door! It's lit up by one now. Alright, so we gotta find another statue. Come with me, my friend. Free, let us free your souls. These, the, the pink ghosts here, they're the same color as the souls we, the crow souls we had to free earlier in the game. Bring out puzzles by accident equals good game design, not sarcastic. Has anyone here played La Mulana? It, that was like the only way I got through that game. It's so insane. Like imagine if this game had three times the amount of biomes. Right? And in the first biome you visited, there was a hint on a stone tablet that's really vague and cryptic. And you only you use that hint 18 hours later in the game in the seventh biome. That's what it's like. That's what that game is like. Did I get through Hell Temple? I beat them both, but I had to use a guide. It was the only way. There were we had two friends. Wait, bottom right. Oh, 
Oh, look at that. It's hidden in the wall. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good job, team. Good job, plants. Every ghost is close to the statue. Gotcha. Okay, okay, okay. All right, look better for their statue this time. Come with me, my friend. Hmm. Where the hell? Wait. Aha! Come here. Come here. Come on. Let's go. Right here. How many more ghosts are there, do you think? There's at least one more, I think. All right. Go. Oh. I think I brought the wrong ghost to the wrong statue. Okay. Vietnamese is potentially slightly easier to learn because of the... Oh, right here, right here, right here, right here. Because of the same alphabet, right? I think I brought the wrong ghost to the wrong statue again. <sighs> okay. Oh, two. Oh, wait, there's one right here. There's one right here. Okay. There we go. This place is a lot bigger than it lets on. The left, did I miss it? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come here, come here, come here, come here. I didn't think there'd be another one so close. I bet that's the last one. I don't think that was the last one. Oh, wait. It was. Here we go. Through the door. Did Hollow Knight have stuff like this, really? It was a little bit like that to get the true ending, right? I'm trying to remember what you even had to do in the game. You have a shiny thing in your inventory which will help you a little with seed hunting. Oh. What is this? Ancient Tablet of Knowledge. You feel its eye gazing into your soul. That's it? That's it? What do you mean? Is there a YouTube video about the game? Is it worth the purchase? Never played anything like it? 100% worth it. If you've, if you've uh, liked Zelda games in the past, you'll like it. And 20 bucks? Easy. Let's check out what's in here first real quick. Oh, is that where I came from? No, I came from right there. Let's check out in here then. Oh, could this be what I got? Is that for this? I need seven? Oh my God. What's back this way? Oh. What is this? Wait, is this the place that Andy said was flooded before? Hey, arsonist, how are you? No more shrines, time to die. What do you mean? I won't, I'm not gonna die. Is it gonna eat me? Like, before? I hope that restores my health. Avalus! Me die in a video game? Unheard of! I'm dead. <sighs> What's happening with the music? Well, I. <laughs> in this mode of the game, it gets like eerie and there's no music. And then sometimes there is music. All right, here we go. 
Daring dying in my video game, right? All right, this time, chat, no mistakes. You wait and see. Oh, you son of a bitch. What? In my Christian video game? Where'd he go? Dead. Amazing. Oh god. Whoa. How come like the play buttons on keyboards like never work by the way? This is like one of those times that it would be nice if it, if it worked. Even if I'm using like Windows Media Player, I feel like it never worked. Damn. A little laggy all of a sudden. God, pay attention, pay attention. That's a lot of projectiles. Okay, that's good. We're fine. What do you do? Okay, you're dead. Come on. Oh, I won. Easy. Wait. What? What happened? Where's my prize? What do you mean? Where's my stuff? What do you, what? What? What the fuck? What the fuck was that? That was weird. It's a glitch. It's a glitch. Oh, that's a tablet. Oh, easy. All right, so this area is done. And he didn't have to do with owls. We have to get back to the old tower section of the game. Head north and you'll see a pathway be hidden behind the ice. Ah, oh. I'll just kind of follow this and see what happens then. Did I not notice this before? Oh yeah, here we go, chat. What's that? A mirror? A mysterious locket, some kind of solar energy swirls within it. Okay. The final shiny object. The locket hums with a powerful energy as if part of a living soul is trapped inside. Perhaps the owner would like it back. Oh, uh, it's, it's the dude. Stonehead, headstone. Steadhone. And he's got a little puppy, like a little schnauzer or something. Oh, the door's open now. Look at that, chat. I mean, riding a guide is a bit different, you know? Oh, shit. Do we have to fight him? No, I don't want to fight him. He seems chill. He's a cool guy. For some reason, I stirred from my usual resting place tonight. I could feel something calling out to me. Oh, you found my old locket? I haven't seen that since... Since the day I buried my old friend. Oh, The day that the ground shook and the sky turned black. I feel... So strange. Jesus Christ. The lore. He's lived too long too, and that's why he's turning red. Right? Is that the idea? The grave digger! Alright, alright, alright. Here we go, here we go. 
Don't hurt me. We're friends. Woo! Oh shit. Got a shovel! Ah, oh, he sends out little things there. Oh, you can block my arrows, huh? You think you're tough? Think you're tough? Whoa! something. Oh, no! What the f... I can't get close to him when he's doing that, I think. Oh fuck, there was like no way out of that, it felt. Oh no, 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 no. There's a bunch of rubble on the ground too. They just keep spawning now, it looks. No! Oh. Close. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Cortonberry. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. No! Close. Oh, you got me. Just in time to witness my demise. Thanks, Courtney. All right, all right, all right. We're back at it, though. We got it this time, chat. Oh my god. Watch out. Watch out for this game, Corny. Don't bother with it. It's frustrating. Come on, stop blocking. stuff. <gasps> oh, I thought he had me. What are you doing? to get rid of most of them. There we go. Okay, better. Oh my god, there's so many! to hurt our friend no dude they do that too oh god okay we did it easy easy as boss in my life it's fine see ya Courtney thank you so much have a nice day thank you Reaper oh look at the blood my time in this world is over 
I mean, that's what he wanted. Okay, that's a tablet. Boom. The ancient tablet of knowledge. That's a tablet right there. Boom. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What is that? It's maybe where I found the horn. I can't really remember now. Do I? Let's keep heading up. I think. Yeah. Oh, look at it! Let's kill it. What'd you get? Is that the tab? Is that a tablet? Oh! No, it's a shard of a tablet? Oh, come on, dude! Are you kidding me? They're starting to give me shards. Wow! Wow. I hear the goddamn owl. Which way do we think? This way? Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's something right there. One. Okay. They better not make me, like, do it quickly. Have you ever talk to someone and you try to complain just a little bit? about something, and they're like, huh, what do you have to worry about? Gosh, you should hear what I have to put up with. And it's just like, oh, okay, I guess they're, we're not friends, actually, because uh, I'm never going to speak to you again after this. Ah! Come back. Okay. But I don't have friends like that. Not usually friends. I think family members would be more apt to do something like that. Like the story about the nurse again? Exactly. Exactly. It was such like a small thing. Hey, an owl. It was such a small thing that happened. But I'll remember it. Oh. So I still have to write, light the red towers. There's a Razia right here. I do still make that mistake sometimes. Where I feel like I might make the bad assumption that they want, I don't know, advice or just ideas or something. When really all they want you to hear is, wow, that sucks. And that's fine. There's nothing wrong with some venting. Or something like that. Can I write that from here? No. Probably have to fall first. There we go. Four out of six. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, there's one. Can we... You do anything here? It doesn't look it. I guess I don't want to go inside. I want a specific guide. I think we only need one more, Andy. But yeah, it's a balance between so autonomy versus just being told what to do. Sometimes you just want to be told what to do instead of someone just being like, what do you think? What do you think you should do? Blah, 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 etc. right? Sometimes you just want to say, just tell me. You know? I don't have to decide everything around here. All right, door is open. Up we go. I forgot how to get there. Oh, lovely. Perfect. Another tablet. So the seeds are, are, are one of the tablets? Jesus Christ. Imagine starting this, assuming that you just find them all, and then finding out that you have to do the seed bullshit at the end. It's just like, oh no. What do y'all think of online dating? So, don't listen to me 
very hard when I talk about this because I've never used online dating even in the smallest bit. And, uh... I feel like I probably don't have good advice. My... I think... I think that online dating, in my eyes, is more of like a, a supplementary to real dating that isn't quite the same. I think it's it's a tool that people think solves the issue of dating. But I think at the end of the day, it's a tool that just is not as effective as we think. Um, I just don't know if the success rates are really that high when it comes to online dating. Because it's too easy to just pass over people, never meet them, never talk to them, and stuff like that. Hey, we found the owl pretty fast. Yeah, compared to IRL introduction, yeah, it's, it does, I think, I guess, okay, a better worded, my thought is that online dating is not a replacement for meeting people in real life, really. It's, I don't think it really works like that that well. Let's take a look at the, uh, what's left here. Stuff. Oh, Pothead is here? Big face, I certainly wasn't expecting to see you here, especially at this hour. This is my secret garden. I come here sometimes to tend to my flowers and relax. What? I mean, do you have more to say? Have you managed to grow any more seeds in the pots out of the round? By my reckoning, there's still seven pots left with nothing growing in them. Try looking around the overgrown ruins to the east. Huh. All right. Well, at least they, they're kind of specific, but wait, they don't tell you where the seeds are? That sucks. That sucks. Seven pots left. Jeez. Good night, night. All right, wait, I gotta go talk to the chef. Chef de la cuisine. Take a stroll with Jefferson? Not yet. Hey, wake up! <laughs> Not obvious at all. Puts the mannequin or whatever inside the tub. T Teddy, is that you? Wait, who's Teddy? Oh, oh no. You've caught me with my two-legged trousers down, so to speak. Yes, that's right. I am not a hum as humanoid as I have led everyone to believe. Gasp! Twisted the sentry. Please don't tell the others. Perhaps it can be our secret? Sure. Though I hope you are better at keeping secrets than I am. Tell you what, keep this between us and I can show you the biggest secret of all. Let's go. Whoa! It's head east to the domain of the late frog team. King. East, you say? Can I not, like, take the doors? Whoa. You're definitely more a more sprightly biped than I'm used to. Is it this way? I don't really know where I'm going. This is going to be a long ass walk, isn't it? Several moments later. Oh man. This thing is creepy and it has like no Distinction. What a lovely night for a romantic gondola ride. Oh, my squidly friend. All right. Oh, my God. Can I assume that we couldn't have taken the doors? Oh, yeah. Here we go. I knew it was, like, in this big direction. Well, so dark over here. I can't see shit. Eh, look at the squid. Eh, flooded fortress. We're almost there. Keep your eye membranes open and look for guidance from the moon. What the hell does that mean? Ooh, we actually get music? I know that's a little suspicious. My body temperature though, 69. 
I have Reese's ice cream. Oh! Jealous. The spirit world is closely tied to the moon. The moonlight will guide us towards our destination. Um, referring to something I might have. I mean, this glows in the moonlight, but that still doesn't really tell me where to go. Uh oh, 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 look at this chat. Look at that. Here we go. Boy, Twerk, won't see you wrong. Twerk's been a good boy. For sure. Oh, over here. Back here now. We're almost there, Squidly. Is this gonna be the squid's home and we're gonna release them? Well, he said like there's a secret to show us so that we keep his secret, so probably not, huh? All we did is walk into your shop at night and we saw the carcass. There wasn't a whole lot to see Jefferson to his starship. Oh my God, Taco Cat. Me, you, and like two other people got that joke. We're here. I will call upon the spirits to show us their secrets. Spirit of the Deaths, show us your treasure. Cthulhu! That's a big squid. Landwalker, take with you this gift from the Deaths. May the tendrils of truth guide you in your journey. Is a tablet. That was a fun adventure, my bipedal companion. If you ever want to go for another evening stroll, you know where to find me. Oh, that was cute. Only C's left, right? I believe so. Is there like a quick way back? Oh my god. Wait, have I done this? I have not. What's this do? Give me a seed. That's not a seed. Ooh, we have more levers. Seed right here. Here we go. Murder them. Push them off the cliff. Boom, baby! Seed, 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 seed. And just like that, the area is done. Now we commit bird suicide. True ending worth, Dan? Well, I'll try to do the seed hunting offline best I can. All right, you guys want to play some Teddy? That was a lot of work. That was for one. We still have four more seeds to find and five pots. Hey guys, it's Italian, and I just want to do a quick video here. I actually completed pretty much all the side objectives that we needed to do to get to the final ending of Death's Door here. And I really wanted to showcase that. It was quite a bit of work. There's some guides out there, although they're never as in-depth as you might need. But uh, I can't really show you like everything that you need to do to get it. Uh, so I just I suggest checking out places like IGN. There's also some videos that help you out with it, for sure. Uh, but yeah, you have to go around the whole world all over again, basically. Find all sorts of crazy stuff to unlock this ending. And of course, this video is going to be filled with all sorts of spoilers and everything. But uh, yeah, let's get started. Also, real quick, I just want to show you here where I'm at 98% complete, 14 hours into it. I did leave the game running at one point for a little while by accident, so it's probably a few hours over what's necessary. And I did get incredibly stuck on finding the last seed. And I'm going to show you where I found it just because I think that uh, it might help other people that might, have got, might get stuck here too. What I'm going to do is go to the inner furnace... And from here, I'm going to go backwards. And there's, I guess, sort of like an in between -y area here. So I had this issue where our trowel that normally tells you if a seed is present in an area or not, 
would not glow in any of the main areas after taking a door. Like, it didn't help. It wasn't until I entered this one, Furnace Observation Rooms, where there no door takes you here, basically, that I realized that the trial was finally going. Glowing. So I'll show you where that seed was real quick in case you are struggling to find your last seed too. Pretty simple. It was hidden right in these boxes here. And that's where my last seed was. I knew where the last pot was and everything, and you need to do this in order to get to the true ending and get the final tablet, it looks. Um, and my last pot was also in the inner furnace, actually, right before uh, the room where you fight the witch. So I, that's all I had to do for that. If you're having trouble finding seeds, unfortunately, there's not a ton of stuff out there to help you quite yet. Uh, but I'm sure with time and uh, everything, it'll get a little bit easier. But now let's go turn in all of our seeds and stuff uh, to Pothead or whatever's behind that door. Earn our final tablet, assumedly. And I'll, I have no idea what happens. I haven't been spoiled or anything. And uh, we'll just have to find out. All right, here we are at the door. And the door is opened after finding all the seeds and planting all of them. Talk to Pothead one last time. Heavens to Murgatroyd. You've managed to grow flowers in every single one of the pots I left out. Well done, big face. You've got greener thumbs than me. Are those thumbs? Either way, magnificent stuff. I can feel the spirit of nature is grateful for your kindness. We reap what we sow. All right. Okay, and just like that, it looks like we pick up our final tablet here, the Tablet of Knowledge. And we gotta go turn this in at the Camp of Free Crows and find out what's behind the door? I don't even know if it's really a door over there. Uh, but yeah, again, like, I haven't been spoiled. I actually have no clue what happens right now. I don't even know if it's a boss fight or just an ending or what. But uh, I promised uh, the people on the stream that after they watched me explore the world for, like, hours on end to really no avail, that I'd, uh, at the very least record it for them and, uh, show them what happens. But yeah, a quick rundown of what we had to do to get here, uh, to this point, basically, is beat the game and get, I guess, what you'd call the normal ending or first ending, maybe. Um, and then turn it to nighttime over in the Lost Cemetery. And then you just have to start exploring and collecting all sorts of different stuff to really get to this point. It's pretty obscure. All right, here we go. Time to interact with this. It is indeed a door. Okay. Boy, this looks like a place where I might fight someone. Whoa! Top a great tower many centuries ago. The door existed before the one you have known. First door was opened by a human seeking the power of the gods. Their actions would come at the cost of their soul. human fused with the being known as truth. They gained the knowledge of all things across all time. They escaped and returned to the living world, but their soul was lost to the ether. The first door was shattered and broken. With its destruction, the Great Tower collapsed into the mountains. Truth emerged into the living world, tethered to the ruins that once housed the door.
An opportunity was seized by the Lord of Doors, who retrieved the essence of the first door. They would reconstruct the door in a new location and trap death beyond it. Ah. This would result in the world stagnating for many centuries. A reaper was assigned the soul of the mortal who opened the first door. An impossible task, as this soul was already lost to the ether. Uh, that must have been the Grey Crow. Without this knowledge, the Reaper would be lost, searching for many centuries. Truth would whisper to the free crows, offering them knowledge and guiding them towards breaking the world free of its stagnation. It would convince them to tamper with the operations at the commission to assign a giant soul to the foretold crow. Ooh, that's us. This would set the foretold crow off onto their journey. The foretold crow would gather the seven tablets of truth. They would enter and behold the sight of the first door. And carry the power of truth out of its prison. Whoa. Okay. Wait, what? <laughs> wow! And then we just fly away after that? Is that the the ending? The true ending ending, I gotta wonder? I might have to look this up. Now at 90-90.5% in terms of completion rate. I know there's like... A shrine or two are missing. Yeah, just one shrine. And maybe some other things. I think it's daytime again. Let's take a look in here and see what happens. Does it just show us the same ending again if I do this? I'll check. Can't hurt. Okay. Okay, I had to look this up. I didn't tie it together myself, which is disappointing because I had just... So we had just played through Titan Soul recently. Uh, another great game by the same developers, and apparently these are all tied together. The ending to Titan Soul ties into the ending of Death's Door. In other words, the human that opens the door in the Great Tower there is essentially the character from Titan Soul. And while there's nothing else to really do here, it just helps interconnect the worlds, and it's kind of cute and interesting, I gotta say. A little disappointed, I was hoping for like a cool boss fight or something, but it is kind of satisfying just to know the origins and get some explanations about some things in the game here, because it was all quite uh, cryptic, I gotta say. In a nice way, though, I think. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be it for Death Sword, everybody. Great, lovely game, I gotta say. Really uh, pleased with it. Worth the price, 100%. Uh, had a lot of fun. All right, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, you know the deal. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye now. Oh, hey. Got you sneaking a peek, huh? Why don't you go on over and check out the stream and get all the peeks that you need. Every Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, starting at 12 p.m. Eastern Time. Come on in and let's all have some laughs.